first, I want to say thank you for coming to this big occasion. Uh, this is a great day, something we've uh, looked forward to for a long time. Uh, these guys have known where they were going for a little while, uh, but this is such a great celebration. Um, not often do you have five guys from one class that's signing to play college athletics. And as a former college football coach, um, to play any kind of college athletics at any level, it's a big feat. Uh, th this is a big deal. Um, I would say a story on each and every single one of them, because uh, I have plenty, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I just wanna say, guys, congratulations. Uh, it's been a fun ride. It's still going. We got a lot of games still to be played. Hopefully about another month's worth. Um, outside of that, I'm gonna turn it over to Coach Hammond. And let him say a few things. Thanks, Coach. And uh, first time uh, in, in our program history that we actually had all the guys sign together. And I think um, it goes a little bit about you know how close this group is. This is what they wanted to do. So uh, a lot of times we'll have five, make, you know, five signings in a year, and they'll be spread apart. But this group wanted to sign it together. Most of them have been playing together since they were seven years old. So uh, it's a pretty cool deal. But uh, you know, it, it's an awesome day. Uh, we talked about moving inside, but I don't think a better backdrop for pictures than, than the baseball field. So it's an awesome, awesome deal. A couple of dignitaries want to recognize uh, former coach uh, Roy Bailey in attendance today. So uh, coach started the program off here. We're glad that he's here. Coach, you want to say anything? <laughs> Come on, coach, get up here. You got something to say. I'm just trying to, trying to walk Man, it's, uh, it's, it seems feels like it's yesterday, but I watched some of these guys and they were six, seven, eighth grade, maybe even younger come out. They worked out with us and I know a couple of these guys, Percy, Nick, and Ty, man, they've been a part of this program for longer than anybody's been around, you know, at least 10, 11 years. We were taking infield with the big boys and they're out there at 10 years old taking infield with the, with the varsity team. And uh, they're hitting with us all winter long and doing all these things. So it's, you know, the reason a lot of us coaches do this is, is for these guys to see this kind of stuff. So it's pretty special to see what they've done and these other seniors and everything they've accomplished along together. But I know the experience that I had with the group that I had moving up, I coached them from, you know, three years old all the way up through senior year. And it was probably the most rewarding thing that I've ever been a part of. And I know these coaches, uh, this group with, with Mike especially, um, has gone through the same thing and it's extremely rewarding. And I told somebody just the other day that it, it's more fun for us than it is the kids. I, I know these kids have had a ball playing for Coach Hammond. I know our kids had a ball, and, and that's that's what it's all about. But man, it's pretty rewarding to watch these guys do what they've done. And you guys can take this with you for the rest of your life. The kind of things you accomplish and what you do on this field and the memories with your brothers, that's, that's pretty special. But um, I appreciate you letting me say a little something. I was just trying to hang out, but uh, <laughs> thank you guys. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we had some fun back in the day. Uh, uh, I think uh, we were talking about uh, uh, one, of his, one of his classes signed seven guys in one year. So uh, we're not quite at seven, uh, but five is uh, definitely an, an awesome feat uh, for this group. Uh, I think this puts uh, in the history of our program since uh, 2011, 37 37 guys that have went on to play college college baseball, college athletics. We had a couple guys, or two or three guys that played football. Blanton Creaky, um, Dre, uh, Pookie Murphy. Uh, but 37 kids come through our program but want to play college sports. I think that's awesome. Not just about the baseball program, but just about the athletic program here at Collins. And uh, we're really fortunate. Uh, you know, I want to give say something about Coach Miller. Uh, Coach Miller does an outstanding job of making this a first class opportunity here for our kids. He really showcases our kids here. He puts them on social media. He gets the limelight on them. We're fortunate to have him to do these kind of things. He and I have been on the phone all day about inside, outside. He does a ton. He gets little credit. I know, Coach, but I want to say thank you. And I know these parents and, uh, and these guys appreciate what you do for us. Thank you, Coach. probably say something about each one of the guys and, and, and but it, you know I think that sometimes they land in a perfect spot 
Um, I think uh, we've got the fastest guy in nine counties that's going to be a greyhound. How, how, how funny is that? I mean, uh, uh, he is a greyhound. Uh, I think uh, somebody said that he went around the bases last night in 14 seconds on inside the park home run. So uh, that's pretty much a greyhound. Uh, but uh, it, this has been, and, and, and I will say this about our guys, and we, we've been fighting to try to, try to rebuild some culture. Uh, in our program, and, 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 I, and I've told our newspaper guy this, he's asked me a bunch of questions, that we always tell the guys that, you know, when they come into the program, leave it better than when they found it. That's, that's the key to success, that's the key to, to, to having heritage and lineage in a program, is leave it. This group has, has, has changed a lot of our culture. Uh, they've changed our culture in, in a positive way uh, of, of leaving it uh, to, the, to the classes below them. And I think it all goes down to these guys that, that are sitting here uh, right now have truly sold out to self and sold out to team uh, and, and have made it about the, about the team and about uh, each other. Uh, and when I can tell the culture's going right is when I can see how these guys invest in those guys. And when the, young, when the older guys invest in the younger guys, you know the culture's well. When they don't, it's not. Uh, and and it's, been a, it's, it's been an absolute joy uh, the entire time. We've had some battles. We've had some battles, had some injuries. We're still going through some now, uh, uh, now, but it's, we've really grown and, and grown from it. Uh, uh, and we're going we're gonna to even see more growth come in a couple weeks. Uh, so uh, we've got a secret weapon. He's not going to be long before he's ready. So uh, uh, that uh, will be even different. Uh, so, uh, but uh, not, not many people understand that and know that, but uh, we're not going to let the uh, monkey out of the hat, but uh, that's kind of where we're at. But it's a, just a joy to coach this group, uh, an outstanding deal. I'm going to miss them. Um, you know, this group is that most of them have been together and played summer ball with uh, all together since seven years old or eight years old. And we've traveled all over up and down the roads and been places and it's been crazy. And uh, it's been a, it's been a deal, and and and, and for me, um, what I what I'll say about this is this last year year and a half has been a struggle for them. They all wanted to play somewhere, and it has been a struggle for for the recruiting process. Uh, the NCAA still had been on a dead period uh, until April first of this year. Uh, so we got guys that are signed at the NCAA level. Uh, their college coaches have not even been able to meet them face to face. Uh, it's all been through video and uh, things. So it's been tough. Uh, and, and one thing that we've told them about the process is just stay persistent. Do what you can do. Control what you can control. And all these kids have done that. Uh, but one thing that they've really controlled is they're, they're unbelievable students. Um, and and they've got great GPAs. They've got good ACT scores. Uh, they're excellent people. They come from great families. And when you can sell that, the athletic stuff, stuff is just bonus. So these are just outstanding young men. Uh, we're, I'm going to miss them. I'm looking forward to see what they can do down the road. Uh, these programs, these five programs are getting five outstanding guys. Five outstanding guys. Good players, but great people. So uh, I don't open up. Any of our coaches, you, some of you guys have had these guys for a long time. When he, you want to say anything at all about the guys or anything? No? You good? I'll Coach? Yeah. So I was just kind of riding here today and thinking about 90% good times, a few bad times, but it's been almost all good. <laughs> I thought about things like Nick always being the last one out of the dugout when we were kids. Still. <laughs> I thought about Ty ups so upset every time he made the smallest mistake. And I've been coaching Ty Nick since they were six years old. And I just kind of putting together years. I've coached Dre since he was 13. I've coached Ty since he was seven. Zach since he was 10. Nick since he was six. And Nick since he was in ninth grade. So a lot of years, a lot of good times. I love you guys. I'm proud of you. And I look forward to following you. I'll tell you one thing. You thank your mamas, your daddies, your grandmas, your grandpas, your aunts, you know. Anybody that ever took you to practice, ain't done anything for you. Because without them, it wouldn't happen. All right, guys? So moms and dads, grandparents, you're all a big part of this. Thanks a lot. First of all, I want to thank all my boys sitting right here. I wouldn't be here without them. Uh, we've been through a lot, especially the past two years. 
um, dealing with things on and off the field, and I think that we wouldn't be here today if we didn't have each other's support through the whole process. And I want to thank my family, of course. I wouldn't be here without you guys, my biggest support system ever. All my friends, all the people, my teachers, and of course my team. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Uh, first, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God. You know, without him, none of this would be possible. Uh, second, my parents, thank you guys. Uh, practices, showcases, camps, games, just it, every little step has helped me become or uh, reach my goal, become a college baseball player. And third, coaches, thank you guys. You guys have pushed me to become the best player I can be. And I, you know, I became a great player, but even better person. Thank you. Taking me to a practice or ever help me in that way. Um, thank you all. Thank you all, my coaches, um, Coach Hammond, Coach Klein, Coach White. I've, you all have been a part of every step of this pretty much since I was really young, and I just thank you all for everything you do. And uh, lastly, my teammates and my my guys up here. Thank you all for pushing me over the years, being good teammates, and just um, for everything you all have done. Thank you. Thank God, like Ty did, you know, with this past year, you know, anything, anything can happen if you don't have faith and, well, you know, and, and what you believe in, and, you know, you're not going to achieve your goal. I feel like, and so this was uh, my goal was to sit up here and talk to you guys and feel congratulated, and you know, go on and play college baseball and reach that step. And so I want to say thanks to my family also for uh, you know taking me to all the games and practices and you know um, giving me an outside to baseball too. Also, you know. Dad, he's 100% baseball, so, uh, you know, thanks for, uh, get, you know, my mom and er everybody else who helped me to kind of, uh, you know, be, give me an outside uh, outside of that. And then, you know, I want to thank my friends for, uh, you know, supporting me and being here today to uh, see this big moment in my life. And I want to thank my coaches for also, you know, coaching me up and making me a better person and, as people say, uh, help me be a coach also. Like, you know, Zach Wally likes that term. And so, you know, I want to thank, I want to thank my dad also, you know, I want to thank him also, just not as a dad, but as a coach also. So first, as a dad, I want to thank you for traveling, you know, um, you know, we, we, we went a lot, a lot of miles together, me and you, we, we sat in and uh, rode to, uh, you know, Northern Florida and we went a lot of places to go to Eastern, you know. We we went a lot of places. To go to you know, if, if we would have known, we would have just drove an hour and a half down the road, and we would have said, "All right, see you, all right, all right." You know, and but that uh, you know, that wasn't meant to be. And so I want to thank you also as a coach because uh, I mean, also I'm gonna go back to the parent. Uh, you know, you, you you told me that if I want to be good at baseball, I'm about to live here at this field. You get you you got to live here. You got to be here when nobody else is here. So. That's that's um, you know really a big spot for me also and um, as, as a coach you know being on me uh, not only just while I'm here but at home on the car rides home we're gonna miss those you know I you know a good thing I don't you know have money and I have to pay on a telephone pole like you did when you at school you know because I would be spending a lot a lot of money to call you home and talk about the game and overthinking it so I just want to say thank you for uh, being there every step of the way for for that and being my coach also as my parent. And you know, um, teaching me a lot, you know, leadership and everything, how, how to be a good leader, and to know that you know, it hasn't been always been easy with, with us as um, you know, coach and being a coach's kid. It's not the easiest thing to do. You know, uh, people are going to talk about you. You know, that's how you know, that's how you know you, you got to thank those guys too because when they talk about you, that's how they make you a better player. That's what makes you want to go to the field every day and play. So thank you for that. Thanks everybody for coming out today. Um, I want to say thank you to my family first for always taking me to baseball and always being there for me. And I'm also going to say thank you for my coaches for helping me improve and to be the best player that I can.